welcome back to Hillbilly Adventures. Uh, we're going to continue some of our vintage RCs and uh, today uh, we're going to look at a uh, Traxxas Hawk. Uh, this was an RC that I picked up off of eBay. Um, it only cost me uh, about $45 I think it was that I got into this. And when I got it, it was pretty dirty, and uh, I was like, wow, man, this thing, it's not going to be that great, but after I cleaned it up, I was pleasantly surprised. Gearbox on it is in really, really good shape, uh, no cracks in the chassis or anywhere else. The body is the only letdown. Um, the body is a little on the rough side, as you can see. Um, you know, it's seen better days. And uh, if I find another body later, um, you know, I'll pick it up. Uh, other than that, the rest of it's pretty decent shape. Uh, tires are in good shape. Wheels are in good shape. It's got ball bearings all the way around, surprisingly. Uh, original motor in this one. <clears throat> uh, the ESC uh, is what it came with. I'm trying to see in here to tell you what it is. And it is a Futaba. And uh, it came with an ESC that was no good um and it came with a receiver that was extremely old um and it's it's over here in a box i don't know if it works or not uh, i don't have a a radio uh, like that one <laughs> a radio to pair it with uh that's like that um anyway so here's what i did um using the hobby wing 1060 uh esc mounted my switch right here and put my fly sky gt5 receiver there and uh i put the power to it and guess what it runs it runs good it sounds really smooth and uh yeah man i mean pretty decent shape for an older vintage rc uh, the reason why i got this thing is i actually had one a long time ago uh, when I was a kid, and I'll tell you a funny story about it. So, uh, I was uh, in school, and uh, actually summer school, <laughs> yeah, got into a little trouble there. And while I was in summer school, they kind of had like, almost like a show and tell like thing, and the game all those kids played was to try to, you know, show something that, uh, forced us to go outside to get out of the building, you know, because it was summertime, it was nice out there. So, of course, I had this brilliant idea. I said, well, you know, I'll, I'll bring my tracks to talk. So, I did. And uh, I was outside running it, jumping it, having a great time. And back then, these things, they, we didn't have, like, well, we had electronic speed controls, but... They're really pricey, so a lot of us ran the old mechanical ones. Well, undoubtedly, mine goofed up, and it stuck on wide open, and I don't know why, but I lost steering control, and it went zipping across from where we were at, uh, and towards, there was like a walkway between the vocational building and the high school. And right at that moment, the principal come walking out across, and the Traxxas Hawk slammed into him and knocked him down. I was like, oh my god, I'm so screwed. I am not, I'm not going to graduate. Uh, I'm going to have to stay in summer school for life or if I don't get expelled. And I ran up to him, and it had flipped over in its roof. Man, it was still just wide open. And, uh... You know, luckily he, he took it pretty well and he understood that I didn't do it on purpose and uh, I had to pull the battery to get the thing to stop. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, after that I got rid of the Hulk. Uh, <laughs> I 
But, um, you know what? I got a little nostalgic, and I started getting back into the vintage thing. And I was like, man, I'd really like to have another Hawk. Um, so here we are. Uh, this is the, this is mine. And uh, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, like I said, the only letdown I have is the body's a little rough. But, I mean, what can you expect from something that's this old? Um, I mean, mechanically-wise, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, it. You know, you put power to it. It, 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 it It's really strong. Uh, I remember it being quick, but it's pretty it's really quick um, shoot I can't wait to get this thing out I'm gonna do a, a video in the future of uh, running some of these old classic RC's and uh, this one's on the list and you guys will get to see it and uh, hopefully I won't break it because uh, yeah parts for these things are hard to find um, they're really neat though I mean if, uh, if you've got one in a closet hey man it's worth pulling it out and uh, cleaning it up and you know, with some of the stuff we have nowadays, you can put a, a nice ESC in it and, you know, throw a throw a battery in it and go. Um, you know, they're, 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 you know, they're pretty cool. Um, you got to be a little gentle with them because the early Traxxas vehicles with the white plastic, uh, the stuff was, you know, fragile. This one here, I mean, whoever kept this thing, the plastics are still... I'm bending the front and rear bumpers and they're not cracking. They're, they don't, they, they feel good. The plastic on this one feels really good. Um, so, I mean, uh, I'm going to take it out and run it. I'm probably not going to do anything crazy, but, uh, man, I, I'm just I'm just really excited to have uh, another one of these in my life. And hopefully I'll run across another body at a swap meet or something in better shape or a clear one where I can paint myself and, uh, you know, put, put my own spin on it. Um, but until then, hey, man, it's, it's a body I can beat up and not worry about. So... Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, you know, freaking uh, share the video. Uh, get the word out there that the, the old hillbillies out here uh, having fun with RC cars. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Later.